Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today we do have another glossy box review. Thank God I did not have to wait as long as I did for this box as what I did for the last box. Um, as we all know, last month's box was very, very late. Um, yeah, it was beyond a joke. Obviously, what with the global pandemic that is going on in the world right now, that had a bit of a knock-on effect. Also, there was a bank holiday as well, I think, last month that um, sort of pushed the delivery back a bit as well. Um, but I have the box here. There we go. Um, this box is the... Um, I'm not actually sure what this box is all about, but when I saw it on the Glossy Box website, it was all sort of like um, animal print. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. This just says May 2020 Variation 7. And then it says bed underneath. I don't know. I have no clue. But um, as you can see, I have had a quick peek into it. Um, but I will get into the box now um, for you guys. So yeah that is the box it was either this print or i want to say zebra print was the other box so i don't know if there's a difference between this box and the zebra box but um i quite like this box it's quite quite funky um let's turn that around like that as always i will tell you what leaflets are in the box and this month we have now i i can't wear these um hence why i wear glasses because when i was born i had a problem with my left eye um but this is a leaflet from a company called vision direct um and this sort of got me wondering there's something missing from your handbag and i was like hmm really because i always check my handbag before i go out so i know that there's nothing missing but when i turned it over so this is if anybody that watches my my videos that can relate to this um message me once the video's gone up message me in the comment box below and i'll i'll, I'll give you all the details that you need but once you turn it round, it's actually for contact lenses. Now, like I say, I can't wear contact lenses. I have a problem with my left eye. So my vision in my left eye is not 2020. Actually, the vision in my right eye is not 2020. But I'm partially blind in my left eye, so I can't actually use contact lenses. Um, so that's it there. Um, even if you want to screenshot it and... At the, like there's all the details down there you're more than welcome it's my gift to you um so that's that's that um yeah but i don't i don't wear contact lenses i'm i hardly wear like eyeliner as well because obviously i can't see it out of this eye properly to do this eye whatever i'm digressing Right, okay, so this is the May box. Um, like I say, it's got a very nice leopard print, shall we say? And on the side it says, wild thing, they know me so well. Um, and getting into the box, if we take the lid off. Uh, I remember doing a video a couple of, I don't know if it was last month or the month before, and I said that there was like this smell that came out of the box once I took the lid off. It's exactly the same for this box. So there is the inside. See, look, there's the other box there. Does it, is that zebra print? I guess so. Um, so undoing it, I have had a look in the box. So I know what there is. Um, there's your little booklet that gives you all the products and everything else. Um, so without further ado, I shall undo the tape without trying to rip it. Ah, there we go. Oof. There we go. 
and I shall just do what I normally do, pick a product out, consult the book and um, tell you the price, yada yada. So if we get this ready, if I move this cushion out of the way, actually no, let's put the book there. Right, okay, so first product. Now I've not opened any of these, so I don't actually know what what it's all about but the first product that we've got here is a lip balm okay so that's it there and it's from a company called evolution of smooth or eos it's 100 percent natural and organic and this is in the flavor sweet mint um so just looking on the back it's uh long life lasting hydration dermologically tested made with natural ingredients of the highest quality standards which is all very good i'm going to break into it. it says here that it's natural sheer as well so come on i have heard of this make before oh wow Oh my god, do you know what that smells like? It's it's a very strong it's a very strong smell. And it's almost on par with Terry um they're not Terry's, are they? After eight mints. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's smooth, like it says. It goes on really nice. Um, let's have a look in the book. Right, it's okay. So this says it's a full size. Sophia, Sophia lip balm. Um, you can get them at Look Fantastic. Um, so you get this flavour. But then you also get, if you look in the book down the bottom, there's a little red one. Um, and that is pomegranate. Oh, actually, no. Looks like there's three. Sweet mint, pomegranate and raspberry or strawberry sorbet. But this is a full size. And it's six, bloody hell, £6.50 um, for that. So, I mean, that's that's good. It's a shame they're not, like, re refillable. It does feel nice. It smells divine. Absolutely divine. What does that say on the box? It's all good. Yeah, you're telling me. It makes your lips tingle a little bit when you put it on. What's that other brand that does that? When you put it on and it makes your lips tingle. I've had it before. Is it um, Carmex? I'm pretty sure it's Carmex that do that as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. Right, so moving on to the next product. This is a um, SOS, Save Our Skin, Skin Toning peacock print sheet mask and that is what it looks like down there can you imagine putting this on and then you have to do like a video call or you get a video call or a zoom call that everybody's now doing since we're in quarantine um and you come up on the screen and you're wearing that oh my god sorry if anybody just heard a noise that was my air purifier um that is bloody scary but anyway it's a skin toning peacock print sheet mask with witch hazel so that's going to make your skin feel tingly as well isn't it um so here we go in the book uh channel your inner spirit animal with these fun sheet masks how many did you get in there then Oh, 
I presume it's only one. It's got to be only one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be one. So you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, so obviously you, you clean your face, you cleanse your face, put the mask on, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then wash off the residue. Um, so yeah, channel your inner animal, spirit animal with these fun sheet masks filled with skin loving ingredients like tea tree, witch hazel, willow bark and charcoal powder. They work to calm tone and balance your skin for a clearer and healthier looking complexion. Then gent gently peel it off and massage the remaining serum into your skin. Okay, so you don't wash it off. You rub it in. Um, so again, you can get these from Look Fantastic. And the RRP on those is £4, which is good. Considering you only get one, and that's a full size as well. It feels quite thick. Are you sure there's only one in there? Oh, I don't know. But you get the peacock, leopard print, and I can't see what that middle one is. It might be a cow. It might be a cow. So, yeah, that's that. £4 if anybody wants some skin toning sheet masks. Um, what have we got next? Let's have a look. Right, okay. Next up we have this, which is a glitter eyeline pencil. Now, like I said to you, um, I don't really put things on my eyes. Like eyeliner or pencils or anything like that I do do mascara and obviously I do um eyeshadow but not so much pencils and eyeliners and stuff I am getting better at doing them well that worked and I've just dropped that where did that go that's there but this is in the color mauve um, again, full size. There is six to get. Obviously, only in the box you get one, which is a shame because it would have been good to have all six. I can't get this off, and I'm just making myself look like a right wally now, struggling. But hey, that's my life. It's coming off slowly but surely. I really want to. Oh, here we go really want to see what this looks like and I will get it off it's coming what was that? that was poor oh for god's sake that's what I needed to do. Right, we're in, people. We're in, we're in, we're in. I've got sticky stuff stuck to me now. Here we go. Right, okay, yeah, so this is the Stargazer Glitter Pencil in Mauve. If I... Can you see? It's a little bit sparkly. Oh, wow. Can you see that? It's a little bit glittery. So, um, I like that. And I like mauve as a colour as well, because it really stands out. It really gives your eyes a pop of colour. Um, mauve, I believe it's 120. Um, right, anyway, so in the book, this is £2. This is a full-size pencil. Um, I don't know whether or not they come in minis, but that is a full-size pencil there. Um, nothing says fierce like an eyeliner with a touch of shimmery flair. These pencils are not feature highly pigmented formulas, but they have a sprinkle of glitter scattered through them too. Apply yours along the upper lash line 
and blend it out with, I have no word how to say that word, smoky effect. I'll sharpen to the tip and draw a precise winged eye with sparkly undertones. And you can get these at stargazerproducts.com. So, and it looks like they got the pencils down there. So it looks like you get like a blue, a green, the mauve, a goldy kind of colour, a beigey kind of colour and maybe like a blue. So yeah, £2 for that. I like that, that's, uh, that's nice. I might, I might try it. I am experimenting a lot more while we are in lockdown and, you know, we can't go out, we can't do this, we can't do that. Oh, it's an absolute nightmare. Right, moving on. Next thing we have, it's a bit dusty, shame. Right, next thing we have is this and it is called Mud Masky Hair Mask Scalp Treatment and Miracle Shampoo. Three in one formula, pH balanced. It repairs hair, strengthens hair, hydrates hair, moisturizes scalp, and dandruff control. It's five things. It's not tested on animals, um, paraben and sulfate free, and natural ingredients. I think it was actually this when I opened the box that I could smell it. But I don't think it was the lip balm because that was in that box, like that, that packet. I'm pretty sure it was this. Let's have a smell. It's got a cap on, like a seal on it. Let's have a smell. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Oh, is it clear or is it like a cream? No, it is like a cream. Ooh, look, it looks like a pussy spot. Oh, oh! Do you know what? It's like a milk consistency. That's weird. Look, I've just rubbed it onto my hand, and now it's not going. Oh wow! It's very um. It's very coconutty. Very coconutty. Nice. Dries out quite quick, considering it's a hair mask. Um, suitable for hair, all hair types which need special care. Quarantine hair don't care. Uh, instructions. Apply on wet hair and massage into scalp and hair. Leave in for about one minute. Rinse thoroughly with water. Okay, right, okay. So this is the Hair Mask Scalp Treatment Miracle Shampoo. Tame your dry, damaged and frizzy mane <laughs> with this newly launched 3-in-1 hair care treatment formulated with Moroccan argon, argon oil. Moroccan mud and flowers. It first moisturizes the skin on your scalp, then repairs, hydrates, and strengthens your tresses. You'll have beautiful, healthy locks in no time. How much? Oh, wow. Right, so this is a full size as well. And this is 75 milliliters. So that, that's classed as a full size. For this, you can get at mudmasky.com and it is £21. £21. Um, yeah, if, if I was, well, when I use this, I will be using it very, very sparingly. Um, it's obviously a, it's a big bottle. Can we call that a bottle? We'll call it a bottle for 75 mil, but it's not very, it's not very thick. So I would probably use probably, I don't know, maybe a fingertip size and then sort of like massage it through the hair or whatever for 21 quid. Um, 
but yeah i mean definitely i'm definitely going to give it a go um it has all their info on the bottom as well like all their socials so you know www.mudmasky.com or info at mudmasky.com face they're on facebook instagram and twitter which is good as well so maybe you could sort of like do a before and an after depending on how quickly your hair changes from it looking like absolute dire to having lovely long locks as it says in the book you will have who knows so yeah that is that mud masky hair treatment 21 quid I think I'm on to the last product and I'm quite excited about this one. Am I on to the last product? I always like to look. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited about this one because I've never heard of this brand or this person. Um, and I'm always a sucker for one of these. Um, so this is the Steve Laurent, I want to say, Wild Thing Eyeshadow Palette. Um, oh my God, I've just seen how much it is. Jesus Christ. Now, there's only... That's the packet there. Can you see? Can you see that? Steve Laurent. Like I say, I've never heard of him, so I don't know. Oh, God, I hate these boxes. Oh, here we go. Well, that was easy. Uh, comes with a little protector thing. Um, and there's three, six, nine different colours in this. There you go. And obviously they're going for sort of like the animal theme. So, you know, you could sort of do one like light. So say you could do, I don't know, maybe that as sort of like a, a light base colour and then start building it up with like the dark colours or whatever to give yourself a smoky eye. Um, let's have a look, see how... Yeah, can you see that? Probably not the best colour to use, but it does look kind of pigmented. Um, nearly dropped it. I like that. I like my eyeshadows to be sort of like really pigmented because then obviously we all know that really pigmented eyeshadows last a lot longer. So that's that. So I'm quite excited to, to try that out. Like I say, it's called the Wild Thing Eyeshadow Palette. Um, put that back in the box if I can. There we go. So Eyeshadow Palette, embrace your wild side and experiment with new sultry eye looks thanks to this gorgeous, gorgeous leopard print eyeshadow palette boosting nice creamy and intense shades. The silky smooth pigments glide effortlessly onto your lid to deliver some serious colour. You can use the soft matte hues to create a subtle day look and blend the shimmery dark colours together to build an evening design. So this is a full size. So like I say, you get nine different shades in that box and that's a full size. This is more expensive than this. This was £21. This is £31. I've never even heard of this dude, but I bet he's a rock star. £31. It's, it, I mean, yeah, it's kind of small. It's £31. Um, okay, I suppose. If that's what floats your boat, you can get these at stevelorent.com. So obviously there's, there's going to be other colours as well. I can see, I'm kind of guessing that the theme here was all sort of 
animal because it says on the front explore your wild side so um i'm kind of thinking it's all animal i would like to see what comes in the leopard print box obviously you'll get the same mud mask you'll get a different color pencil you'll probably get that down there a different one of those and probably a different one of those i don't know but um yeah that's everything um you know i like doing these videos because obviously what with everything that's going on in the world right now it gives you a little bit of an escape to come and watch me make an absolute tit of myself um which i'm i'm normally quite good at to be fair I don't do it a lot, but when I do, I do make an absolute tit of myself. Um, you know, like I say, what we've got, what, what with what's going on in the world right now, everybody needs a little bit of an escape. Everybody needs to, you know, do exactly what the government say. Um, I'm still off. I don't know when I'm due back. Um, I am enjoying having the time off, but obviously it's going to get to a point where we're all going to have to go back to work. I know they were talking about easing the lockdown um, situation and letting sort of families reunite um, and whatnot. I don't think things like pubs and restaurants cinemas i don't think nothing like that is going to be open again for a while sorry about this angle but i'm sitting on my sofa um yes yeah, so i don't think they're going to be opening anytime soon where i work is open but um as far as i'm aware because obviously i i do the admin side i do sort of like the delivery side because obviously this pandemic is global no um, deliveries are actually coming in from across the seas. So like European deliveries. I think we're still having maybe some UK deliveries. I don't know. But me and my colleague are still off. We haven't been called to go back yet. Um, I actually thought... To, I know today's a bank holiday. Today is the... 8th of May and it's almost 12 o'clock oh it's almost 12 o'clock according to the Fitbit today is actually VE day um where yeah VE day that's crazy so what is it 75 years I think to the day I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's 75 years. And I actually thought Monday was a bank holiday, but it's not. Um, I don't know when then, where there's another bank holiday. I don't think we have any in June or July, so it's probably August. I don't know how long this lockdown is going to last. I don't know how long people are going to be in quarantine for. I've been hearing reports that... Um, some people don't think that things are going to be open now until after Christmas, um, which sucks. My birthday is in September, so I will be the big 4-0. I'm hoping stuff will start to be opening by then, um, but I just don't know. I don't want... I don't want things to be eased and I don't want things to start opening and then we have like this big second sort of like wave of this pandemic because it, it won't be good. It will not be good. I guarantee it will not be good. Other countries are now starting to sort of like relax rules and starting to let things open again. But they it's that's purely just because they are sort of like two weeks, three weeks ahead of us. Um, so they've obviously had their big sort of like their own pandemic of it. Um, and it's sort of calming down now, but it's, it's just a very, very 
scary time at the moment. I never thought at, at the age of nearly 40 that m me myself would be living through something like this, you know? It's gonna, you know, once I, I meet someone and, you know, we have children and they then start to go to school, they're going to start learning about this stuff. You know, oh, do you remember that big global pandemic in 2020? Yeah, I lived through it. I went through it. My family went through it. My friends went through it. My work colleagues went through it. It's, it's just mind-blowing to think that in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, when we're all gone and like the, the future generations are coming through, that they're going to start learning about this stuff. And then my children's children will start learning about it and they'll be like, well, yeah, your grand lived through that. Be like, what? This is crazy. How? I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just a very, very scary time. And this is why I do these videos because it's an escape from my audience to just forget about what's going on for half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever. Just watch me make an, an absolute tit of myself. Um, but I, I just want to say that I hope everybody is staying safe. If you are an essential worker and you do have to go out and you do have to go to work, whether it be a doctor or a nurse or, um, you know, you work in a supermarket or a pharmacy or whatever, you guys are absolutely amazing um, by keeping this this country going. Um, we are, Where I live in Barnet, every Thursday at 8 o'clock, we go outside and clap. And I always do a Facebook Live. And last night, um, we was out there. And an, a an ambulance actually went past. Um, and it sort of like... It wasn't going to... As far as I'm aware, it wasn't going to anywhere. But it sort of went past slowly. Had its sirens on and was waving at everybody. Which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, because if they didn't do that... They could have been out, you know, saving someone's life or going to um, going on a call with someone that that actually thinks that they might have the virus. Um, so I just want to thank all those people on the front line that are still working, that are still putting their lives at risk to keep this nation going because who knows when this is going to end and that's the scary thing about it who actually knows when this is all going to go you know so anyway that's the end of the video i just thought i would come on and review the may glossy box like i always do give you guys a bit of an update on it and and just talk shit for a few minutes you know um, I am still single. Me and Geordie Boy aren't back together. I don't know if we'll ever get back together. Um, I would like to, but who knows? It's all down to him. It's all down to him. Who wouldn't want to date this? Um, so, yeah. But please stay safe, guys. Only go out if it's absolutely necessary and absolutely essential. Um, whether it be for work or shopping or or whatever don't I mean I see people walking up and down where I live all the time and you know whether or not they are just getting that that one bit of exercise in a day who knows but um yeah so on that note stay safe guys and I will see you all in the next one